Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Timix here, and it's time to head off to Phoenix. Now, you may remember last time we got our first engine in of the year, and let's go get another one. I'm going to add the plus 25 to max. And this one right here can take us all the way up to 400, and it'll be even higher once we get the next one, which is there. 18 days, 19 days almost, 1.1 million. Say goodbye to a little bit more of our money. 49 hours to fix. That's going to be fun. RTL, Kai Ebel. Gah. I hate this question. I absolutely hate this question. I'm going with the same answer. Two pit stops. 10 points, 274 seconds. No mistakes. Who do we have available to hire? Looks like we got a 20 on the rear jack. I'm not going to want you. Nobody higher than a 15 on the tires. Are we in desperate need? We have Comedies at a 20 on the rear. Yeah, we lost some people for sure. We don't have anybody above a 17 on the front jack. All right, so we're going to hire Boggs to take that spot. And then if we bring in James here, then we can switch Comides onto tires. So that would seem reasonable. One potential person for each spot, if we can. So we'll keep uh, Fry and Simons out here. Uh, let's get rid of the other two. There we go. Everybody has plenty of stamina. It's early in the year. Let's uh, put powers out there for Amaba. That'll give us a little bit more uh, stamina out on the tires. But aside from that, we're going to stick with what we have. More sponsors. Car repair done. Let's visit those sponsors, see what they have to say. Now... Okay, 18th or above. Boy, these are just these are just bad. I mean, they're four stars, but the amounts are just bad. I wonder why that is. I mean, 18th or above, we should be able to make. Then the 14 race is at 264k a race. We're supposed to get another bonus sponsor deal in two races. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if this is the right move, but I'm going to hold off for that and take your crappy, uh, you know, 264K. Yuck. And yeah, it's going to leave us about where we were. That's just, that must be, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe that's just a slot that is a low paying slot because I think the slots are different. I think that's what we've got going on here. That's just a low paying slot, the, the Ray-Bans. So, for Phoenix, the engine's going to matter the most, I think. Then we got suspension and spoilers. And I'd rather focus on the other ones because we have the engine, but do I really want to boost that one that much when I'm going to get a couple more? And I don't. So, I'd like to just ignore that part. Um, we did the suspension, so let's uh, go engine and spoiler. And how long to max it. And I don't think we want to work on the performance for the engines so much. I mean, well, it doesn't really matter what we use because we're not going to have it for the rest of the season, I suppose. Let's pull out the suspensions and throw in the spoilers. And we're slowly moving up. Okay, Phoenix, 55 laps, 2.7 miles. Engines are the key. Super soft and soft. Good track for tire wear. Cars average at best. You can't expect me to put in my best performance ever when I'm working with inferior material. I know we can do better. Maybe we can design a few parts or make some improvements to the one we already have. I'm doing it, Gustavo. I understand you being used to having a better car in the WTCR, and you don't have one now, but 
you know, chill out. We're gonna get there. So we can knock it down that far and boost the engines a little bit more. Teams will be watching to see whether the Timex Racing's pace is true or if they just had unusually good performance. More, probably more the latter than the former. Pimo Glock going to try to add us to his trophy cabinet. And RBM expected to struggle. And you can see other cars improving their engines as we continue to slide down there. That's to be expected. So yeah, those are going to be up to 80%. So at least have all of our crucial parts at 80, although I'd like to be higher. Reliability done. So, that's everything. I suppose we might as well put that engine in and then crank everything away from it. Because that's the only part we can even improve reliability on. We're going to stick with the same parts. So our tire selection is going to be 30 degrees. Definitely going to want to go more with softs. But super softs will be the car, for the tire for qualifying, probably. So, let's split it fairly even. And that shouldn't mean we have enough for everything. Expected to finish 4th and 8th. Well, I would take that. I would take that for sure. Feinborg in one, Menezes in two. Let's see what we've got here for practice. That's kind of a strange desire. We'll see if that holds up. Yeah, both cars wanting it, or drivers rather, wanting it more on the acceleration side, which is not what I would expect for this track. So it's 55 laps. Yeah, we could get away with two softs, but not a super soft and a soft. So I think that's highly likely to be the approach, two softs. But, first of all, We'll get the handle for the track. Qualifying one. Thank you both for picking the wrong setup there. So you get to spend extra time in pit row. Six, nine, and five, one. That's not too bad. And it appears to be basically the same setup. Yep, it's got that inside loop there. It's not the oval, of course, which is the short version. There are many different options, but this is the this is the same one I believe that we used in the WTCR. And at 23 degrees, it's supposed to be quite a bit warmer than this during the race. We are slightly uh, slightly heating up the tires. Svaneborg wants more speed, and so does Menezes. Let's go and come in and do that, and we'll switch over. And almost got level one trim in just over three minutes. We should do very well in the overall setup here. Six, 
77 percent okay so more speed which probably also means more understeer although not a lot more let's let's go there yeah and then we'll see if this is the right direction on cornering or not race trim tires Doggone it. Okay. What do you say? 71%. Not as good, not horrible. And again, speed. And probably more understeer. You know what? I'm going to leave that. I don't think it's worth the extra five seconds. And you'll spend half a minute in here too, but once you get back out there, you're sticking for a while. Let's go and speed this up. Get through some of these laps. And Menezes is down to 3-1. That's not exciting. Both drivers liking the handling adjustments. So going under steer was the right direction. Svaneborg improving, but Menezes not as much. Level one. And likes the speed as well. You can see our times are pretty terrible. Yeah, and the tire temperature going slightly up even at 23, and we're going to be going 30 for the race. There's going to be a lot of conserving of the tires. There's level 2. I wonder if we can get to level 3 before we come in. Okay. Vaneborg also likes the uh, balance of the weights and the ballast. And so does Menezes. Is up to 19th. Now we're coming in on our in-lap, and I don't think we're going to make it. So I think one of them is going to have to go back out for a quick stint. We'll have that be Zvaneborg. 2 6 and 3 3. So, yeah, the driver's really not getting it done today. Up to 92%. Okay. So, I want to go a little bit lower speed. Probably a little bit more understeer. Let's try that. And that. Then we need to bring this back. Let's see how that works. You're going to stick with the same race trim, same tires. And then you are going to switch to qualifying. And super softs. 
And you're at 91%. Keep the speed where it is. Okay, yeah, we, we, want, we want to go back lower on the ballast as well. And adjust this one way or the other. So... Maybe there. Let's just see if that's the right place for that. Svena Borg's just going to go out and come back in. And we fit qualifying one, super soft one. There we go. Menezes will stay out there. Svaneborg will switch up and everything's right but the cornering. So 97%, we've already got a drivable car, ugh, 1.6. Get with it. Okay, so we were great. And then good. And then great. So let's keep pushing it that way and see what happens. And we can adjust these later. Menezes likes the cornering changes. Seems to be driving more competitive. Well, was driving more competitively. Up to 13th. While driving badly, that's something. I think we'll have both of them in one more time to uh, make some adjustments. Looks like uh, Menezes is going to have an even better time here. Up to 12. So he's going to come in. Svaneborg still in last and really just stinking it up. But that's mostly just her not being a good driver and stinking it up, I think. Shouldn't seem to be any more complicated than that. And here we are at a level threes with three and a half minutes to go. 92%, not as good as I would have hoped for. Okay, we need to bring the speed back, that's obvious. Poor. Yeah, okay, we've got to bring that speed back. And then the handling was poor. Great. And then good. So we want to push the handling basically to the end. So we're going to drop the acceleration. That's too far. We would like to... That's where I'd like to be, but then we got to pull this back and that might be a little too far back 
Let's just see where that is. We can always make further adjustments. I think I want everybody to go around, just go around and come in until we, we've hit all of that stuff. We want to make sure we knock you out everything we can. Get one more final stop to check on our setup. So now, those two were right. We need to get just a little bit lower on understeer and acceleration. That's a little too far. That's going to be super close. Let's see if that does it for us. <clears throat> Menezes just needs to nail the cornering a little bit better. 98%. So, great. Good. Boy, you just need the tiniest, tiniest bit up. That might even be too much. Maybe that gets him up to 99. So it definitely looks like we're significantly off the pace here. Other cars upgrading their engines. I'm going to want to take the slow and steady route. Unless we qualify better than I thought, uh, a little bit of an adjustment to make there, but we're really close. And then we're going to just have to try and uh, take advantage of other cars repairing on this one. We certainly don't look the likes of a team that's about to finish 4th and 8th, but we'll see if things improve going forward in the weekend. Schnitzer setting the pace, Tsunoda leading the way, Glock in second, Van Hoor in third. Will Martin Bower be able to put it on the front row? Tambe shocking practice session. Sorry for the fans and Rusinov disappointed. So they don't, at least they're not talking us down. Nice, and we have yet to see 70 degrees in Phoenix. Okay, so we're going, of course, to go super soft and qualifying. There's nothing else to be done. Ninety-nine percent. New tires. Ninety-eight percent now. We need just the slightest adjustment to the understeer side. So yeah, if we did that, this will probably still be in the excellent range. I don't know what it'll do to this speed. There's nothing wrong with trying it. We can always go back. We have a 98% in the can, so we can always go back to that. Okay, we got 10 minutes. 
We'd like to get in two runs. Let's see, a minute and a half. Wondering how long we can wait for the first one, basically. I'm just going to wait about 45 seconds, and I'm going to send out Cairoli and then Menezes second. Oops, that was a little bit long, I think. This is, we're going to get around this track quickly. There you go. And now we're going to have to optimize Cairoli. Nailed that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back down. Yeah, I want a little bit less of a gap between them probably next time. He gads. Boy, I just screwed that up. I was pulling it to the left when I was trying to push it to the right. I really looking pretty good so far. Not that far off the pace. Menezes has a little bit more, but you'd expect that when I didn't get his tires right. Oh, now that's a little further. He's unhappy with finishing fourth out of seven. Fourth out of eight. That's something I can tolerate. How does Menezes going to do? He's going to come in fifth, so we're fifth and so, okay. We're looking around middle of the pack with a lot of cars still to come, and we're dropping. So I think I want to go out again at maybe 345. Something like that, that we're not going to have a lot of uh, time here. Yeah, probably less than a minute rest in between. And yeah, 11th and 12th, right in the middle. So that's definitely worse than we were predicted. Actually, no, I don't want to go out that early. Maybe two and a half. Because I, I was miscalculating. I only need to get around the track once and back through the finish. So, yeah, let's go down to two and a half. Let's bolster that track grip a little bit. Take every little advantage we can get. I hope you're right. We'll go with 235 here. I don't want to cut things too close. Okay, 98% but all purple. 
All excellent smiley faces. Six one for Cairoli, four six for Menezes. Maybe he can pick that up a little bit. Either way, this is the one that's going to define whether or not. I don't think we're going to get first and fifth like last time, but can we sneak our way maybe into the top ten? Improve on that first run a little bit. Of course, it will help. If I get the car tires right. I slipped the wrong way there at the bit, but got it. Okay. 6 1 and 4 6, it still is. Caroli. Almost as fast as the leader. Slipping a bit there. Yeah, slipping more. Okay. Others getting faster times. But some of them are already finished. I mean, that's that's competitive. Yeah, both of them competitive. Not horribly, not, I mean, not way behind. Oh, they are, well, down 0.7. That's not good. That second sector seems to be bad to both of our cars. And there's Cairoli, unimpressive. Yeah, and Menezes, not as fast as he was the first time. Almost as slow as Cairoli on that middle segment. Yeah, okay. So we just did not do as well. We slipped to 15th and 16th, and that just, you know, makes it even more clear. We need to use the, you know, the slow method. And the others didn't get any better bonuses than ours. We maxed out our race trim. We just didn't didn't get it done. The other cars probably put more effort into improving new engines, something to that effect. So yeah, a little below halfway through the field. Let's see if we can pull anything out here. Going to be working late to improve before tomorrow. Carly really said not bad, hoping for more tomorrow. So he's more positive than uh, Gustavo. Hot weather. And no, we're going softs. We could go light-footed, but I don't think we need it. Now let's double check. 55 lap track. And they say we can get 33. And I don't want to push the cars super hard. The thing is, with that 80% uh, limit. I'm going to go down a lap again. Yeah, both have the same level on those tires. We'll lose a lap with both of them. We'll go hard at first. And yeah, 15th and 16th, we got a 5 and a 6. So we'll hope to move up. That's a long-term process. Still, 6, 1, and 4, 6. Here we go in Phoenix. And Cairoli started faster, but was stuck behind traffic. 14th and 17th. But now Cairoli... Are really surging a little bit. 13th and 17th. And we're going to have to back off on the tires before long. 
I'm doing it now. I'll go neutral. We'll run them a little bit over for a lap and then we'll back off. But Cairoli up to 11th. Meneza is not getting it done back in 17th. But uh, our new Italian fighting for something here. Oh, he's going to lose a spot now. Slips to 12th behind Nico Cari. And then gets it back. Okay. I'm going to go high conserve for one lap and then I'll drop back to neutral on the gas. Of course, Phoenix is one of those tracks where if you have the speed, you can usually make something happen. Caroli down to 5-3. Hanging out in 11th. Meneza is still 17. And back to medium. Just a bit of a uh, bit of energy there by Cairoli to stay ahead. Menezes is starting to drive better now. See if that actually produces anything here. Up. Oh. And he speeds back ahead of Nico Kari for the moment. Menezes' boost got him up to 16th for them temporarily. He's in a, uh, he's in a bad spot there, though. Pack a three. Go up to neutral again. Cairoli fading on the driving form. So 12th and 17th, we are not winning any awards. We would have no points and we would drop to 4th overall. We're definitely hoping for help here in Phoenix. Now, Cairoli is notably the first place car that's on sauce. And uh, Meneza is fourth in that group, so if the others have to pit more, that could be a thing in our favor, too. It may not be as bad as it looks. And green right behind.
I think I want to use my speed boost here. Got alongside, but not past. I don't think I'm fast enough. Maybe we are. Slides alongside. I can't get by Erickson. Okay. Vanessa's. Come back around to the straight. I think you. I think you want to get by Toramon. Now. Don't know if he'll hold it, but that time he picked up a spot, and he's trying to pick up another one. There we go. That might do it. There's a nice move. He's driving better. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're frying the tires. Oh, that's a horrible mistake. we got to cool down those tires and then see where we are tire-wise. Oh, that's, that's terrible. That's just bad management on my part. Now, Menezes is driving pretty well. Cairoli, quite solid at the moment. We want to get through lap 27, 28. Oh, there's a speed burst. And I used one on the wrong part of the turn there. But I think the main thing is we, yeah, I mean, I haven't made the best decisions with the power boost. I don't think they've been horrible. They haven't been the best ones. Menezes is driving well. But the main thing is just... I've got to figure out this tire situation. Both cars are at about the same wear. We've used 30%, 31% over 11 laps. Pretty much is 3% a lap, and at that rate, lose another 48. Okay, I think I want to drop the tire temperature down to about medium and keep it there. And that should get me where I want to get to at about, uh, let's see, 16. No, no, I want to drop it down lower. I want to get the tire temperature low and just, just conserve the tires in order to make sure we get enough. Okay. Kari coming in for the first pit stop, and there's a bit of our advantage showing up, and there's others going to come in. So yeah, this is a probably a good time to be conservative and just look for opportunities to pass. Menezes has some gas in the tank, but has a nice gap too, so we should just take advantage of this gap. Kai Rowley not really being slowed down too much by green. Let's watch how that gap works. Oh, Menezes is up to 12th now with more drivers coming in. So. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. There comes a couple more pits. Nobody repairing yet, but it's early. Go neutral here. See if we can get by green. Come on. Green using it as well. Pull the long side, but I don't think we're going to... Nope. Let's go back to conserve. And Menezes a couple seconds behind that group. 
repairing, rather. And race leader Martinboro coming in, and another driver, three of them. We're now up to fourth and fifth. Go neutral just a bit here with Menezes. Get those tire temps up. He is closing the gap. I'll switch to conserve. Okay, I think we're going to make it from a tire temp point of view now. I think we can keep this up around medium or a little higher. So, I'm going to go for another pass here. Yeah, both cars go after it, actually. And now we're one big happy family. Second and third behind Green, who's going to come in soon. All right, let's go conserve. There we go. Now we're going to race together. So let's... Uh, Go neutral. And we're three seconds up on everybody else that were that was wearing socks. I do think that uh, there's probably not going to be a lot of cars going with one stop. And that's our goal is to make that work out for us. Cairoli now driving well. I'm pulling away from Menezes a little bit. Always nice to have that open track. I think we're going to want to use all of our all of our power here before we go in because you know get as much speed as we can so we don't fall as far back in the pack All right, I want to conserve for just a bit Almost halfway through. The parts are looking good. Yeah, the engine about halfway down for Menezes. But Cairoli may be able to push a little bit more later. Okay, now we'll go neutral. I'm going to try to go neutral the rest of the way. Pit on lap 28. So, and Cairoli even better up at 8.0. Menezes is falling behind as uh, Matteo Cairoli just going after this. And yeah, Menezes is getting caught by Toramon. What's going on there? Okay, there's some pits, but yeah, Menezes is definitely, yeah, definitely falling compared to some of the other cars. Now, Mueller is going to go in. I 
think I should be able to stay on neutral here and get down to 25% about time we pit. Although, should have thought of this earlier. But uh, Menezes is not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to pit at the same time. So I'm going to want Menezes in first. Always give the uh, car in front the right to stay out longer. Go push a little bit with Menezes. There we go. We're going to burn our power. And we're going to come in. First and only change. 10% risk. Cairoli driving better and better all the time. We'll stay out there for one last circuit. Use that last little bit of power. And here comes Menezes. How far does he fall? Yay! 2.4 second, uh, 3.7 second uh, screw up. We certainly can't. You're back in 17. And I think you've got to just stick on neutral there and hope you've got enough. And Cairoli? I didn't set up your pit stop. Is this quick enough? Yeah, you're just coming around the turn. Okay. I want Menezes to use this speed burst to try to get a little bit of distance, if possible. Cairoli, good pit stop. Out in 11. Let's try to work his way past, of all people, Nico Kari. You know what? I think I want to go conserve. Because I think I'm going to want him to use those tires later to try to blast by. Menez has plenty of room. Why don't you back off to conserve? Cairoli up to 10th as we get another pit stop. There's a whole bunch of cars. They've got weaker tires. I think I should go for this. There we go. See if we can hold it. Should be able to. Veneza slipped to 14th. Yeah, having problems. Let's definitely go neutral. Try to hold on to things there. And eight, but there's a pit stop. And uh, Sunoda is going to repair. So Menez has slipped a spot, but then gets it back. Is Due to the pit. And Cairoli fell to nine. Ugh. You're on the wrong side of the turn, buddy. And 
Yeah, I don't think you've got enough, but go for it. Okay. Guess maybe it was. More pit stops. Yeah, okay, we're not winning anything there. Let's just go conserve. And go back and serve for Menezes as well. So 6th and 11th at the moment. There should be more pit stops coming. But if we were to stay here, Cairoli would hold on in 4th. Menezes is dropping to 7th with no points. It would actually retain the lead narrowly over RMG and Rosberg. So yeah, it's very competitive early on. But uh, we're still in the thick of it, and you can see Cairoli sixth, but Ericsson, Vitoris, Kari, all shifting right ahead, and there's Kari with a pit stop. So once we get a little more energy here, or maybe not once we get a little more energy, maybe before we get a little more energy, uh, yeah, Matteo Cairoli is going to try to make a move. He's got much better tires than any of the cars ahead of him and the car behind him and green. Yeah, I mean, Glock is probably going to stay out there with him, but who else? And there's Suri going in. Another car going in. Let's switch back up to neutral for Menezes. And he's got enough gas to do something here maybe on the next round. Yeah, let's see if he can get by Toramon. Uh, Cairoli. Well, we're not going to use it to get by somebody who's pitting. Get that a little bit late. Yeah, I caught up, but that was it. Looking to get by Toramon. Probably not going to do it. Switch back to uh, Conserve. And Cairoli right behind Vitoris, who has a mechanical issue. Let's make this happen. There we go. Managed to save a little bit of the energy. Now, if we can pull away there... We got Van Hoor three seconds ahead. Yep, okay, and Vitoris is going to come in. There's another pit, Tomzik, right behind Menezes. Shift up to neutral for a bit here. Well, with our tire wear like it is, let's go back to conserve. And yeah, you as well. Boy, Cairoli just driving remarkably right now. Almost perfect. And Menezes has had better days. Maybe he should stop complaining about the car he doesn't have and drive the car he does. At the moment, trying to hold off Tambe, which he will eventually. And Muller coming into the pits. Couple of Toramon fourth. Okay, I'm just gonna let this go because Tambe is gonna have to pit, I think. Be very yeah, definitely. So there's no point in fighting that out right now. Now let's see. Fifteen laps to go. And I think we can afford to push some with Cairoli. This is a good time for it. Just use that gas, gain some time on the track. Although, yeah, we should be going conserve. Meneza does not have the condition to. And boy, Van Hoor is actually pulled away.
still unlikely that he's going to be able to fi finish on those tires. Might be able to. Meneza is having some trouble. Whoa. Yeah. No, no, not there. Couldn't quite get there. Tambe coming in and repairing. Well, Friends is going to have to pit anyway. Should have looked at that. Cairoli gaining slowly. Let's go and go back up to neutral now. Menezes has this gotten by friends. Who came in and pit? Okay, yeah, a whole bunch of cars going into the pits. And all of a sudden, we're in second and fourth because of pit strategy. Yeah, let's back that off now. Make sure we've got enough fuel to finish the race. Might be able to push it a little bit at the end. Just the engine's a little bit close for me to do it right now. All right, Ventura comes in. And we're first and third. That would be remarkable. Cairoli would go up to second in the standings. Menezes would stay third. Team's championship, we would gain a strong lead. Not too strong. There's only been two races. but And now we've got starting to lap some people. Okay, we definitely got to go conserve with Menezes. Cairoli, I think his tires are about where they want to be. It's time for a speed burst just because. There we go. Ten second lead on the field. Menezes in a comfortable third, pretty much. Da Costa back there. Um, Martin Burrow, former leader of the race, five plus seconds. So I think we stay conserved there. And Cairoli's far enough ahead, stay conserved there as well. I think I should just run the last several laps like this. Look at that, speed burst didn't even get me away from Tambay. Let's try another one. Got the power to use. Have Menezes use it on the next time around. And he, he is losing some time. He's going to make his first uh, lap maneuver here. At least I hope he will. Switch up to neutral a bit. There's the blue flag. And go. We should be able to go should be able to go neutral the rest of the way. And Tambay getting back on that lead lap. Timo Glock has retired with a mechanical issue. Unbelievable. We should be fine, only have a few laps to go. 
So that's first and second. That's an even bigger lead. That, that leaves, uh, because Glock's not going to get anything. Cairoli first, Menezes second. Team's championship, look at that lead. Everybody else dividing things up. Wow. This race just fell into place like races rarely fall into place. And you know, you have to start asking, like, how well can we do this year? If we can keep getting that um, those that engine boosted up, if I can start getting some of those better parts in the field. Still, obviously, very early to talk about it as we're in the second race, but when you see that kind of a gap on the leaderboard, it's hard not to get a little bit ahead of yourself. One thing's for sure, we're going to be a lot more competitive than I thought we would be. And tires warming up, so we'll back off. But Menezes, with a seven second lead over the closest competition, and he's second. Teo Cairoli with an excellent run today, outstanding run. And he's going to take the checkered flag easily. You pretty much were today. First and second, you just can't get any better than that. No penalties of any kind. Glock, the only driver who couldn't finish. And it couldn't have happened to a better guy for us, as he's, it obviously was the guy to beat. An hour, 23 minutes and change. 20 and a half seconds behind. And then about seven seconds more back to Antonio Felix de Costa. 70 points for us. We have as many points as the next three teams behind us combined. We have almost three times as much as anybody else and just barely over a full race point lead on all four of those. RMR, Schnitzer, Rosberg, RMG. In the weeks to come, the challengers will come forward and the pretenders will fall off. Let's just hope we're not one of the pretenders. The awesome helmet helped them get a few points today. Okay. He was pretty darn good. That's no question about it. Still no boost for Cairoli, though. Gets 7.3. Boosting that mechanical relationship already up to 40%. This one's up to almost 40%. So, you know, won't be too much longer before we get some more fun things. I think we just got an overtaking boost for Menezes. As he continues to boost up his overall abilities here. Bit by bit. Nothing else coming in right away. 7.3, much better than is showing in Munich, and even a little bit better for Gustavo. And we're still losing the money. Uh, 
All right, new engine is in, but uh, all of a sudden, some weird questions being asked about the Timex racing up here in the DTM. Is there any chance at all we can pull off back-to-back -back titles? Unlikely, but we're sure off to a great start on the year. We're heading off to Doha next, where we have not competed in a long time. We haven't competed there in any of the career seasons. So that'll be a wonderful adventure. Till then, thanks for watching. More Motorsport Manager coming up.